Internet. For humans, life on Earth is unimaginable without it. We spend hours together on cell phones. But have you ever wondered how you catch this high-speed internet? So how does satellite internet work? Why is it useful and criticized? Very high-speed internet everywhere on Earth, including the out-of-coverage areas or blank zones, is the promise of satellite internet. Three factors are necessary. A ground station connected to the global internet network, a geostationary satellite, and a dish installed at the subscribers pointing towards the satellite. With each search on the internet, the dish sends the requested data to the satellite, which in turn sends it back to a transmitting or receiving station itself connected to the internet. Once the information is obtained, the data will follow the reverse path. The pioneers of satellite internet operate using satellites in geostationary orbit at an altitude of more than 35,000 kilometers. The data travels a long distance, generating a latency time three to five times greater than that of asymmetric digital subscriber line or ADSL, an older popular form of broadband. The new operators on the other hand function in low orbit or LEO around 600 kilometers. The advantage here is to reduce the latency time, which makes it possible to multiply the services in transport, finance, defense, or even video games. It is now possible to have the internet when up in the sky or down at sea. On the other hand, this requires sending many machines in low orbit. Constellations of satellites are being deployed now above our heads by private operators. Starlink, a subsidiary of SpaceX, has already launched thousands of machines. The same for Amazon's Kuiper system. Countries such as China or Britain are developing their own network to preserve the sovereignty. These responses to an explosion of internet needs are attracting criticism. The satellites are more vulnerable than geostationary ones, while astronomers point to the visual pollution caused by the passage of satellites on their observations. NASA fears the proliferation of satellites will raise the risk of collision in space. 